So I'm sure you guys have been waiting for some chisme and it's time to spill some tea. JK, that was the last video. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edna and I wanted to film a life update because I was checking my YouTube video homepage and I haven't filmed a life update in a few months and there's been so much that has been going on that I figured it was a good time to do it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is super exciting. We're going to be moving to a new house. I know, oh my god, it is really, really exciting. Uh, it's time. It is time for us to move and we'll still be in San Jose, which is great. Everything's moved so fast. Um, we get keys like this upcoming weekend, so we're going to start moving and it's really exciting. In case you don't know, I did move away for undergrad and then while well, I studied abroad, but then I came right back home and now it's... Uh, and now the home that we're moving into is kind of like a two home kind of thing. My parents and my siblings will be upstairs and then I'll be downstairs with another renter. So it'll be exciting because we'll still be in the same property. But it'll kind of be like I have a, a studio thing going on. I can still see them but I can just like stay downstairs if I don't want to go upstairs and like hang out with them. In this new home, I think I'll be buying a puppy in 2020, you know, God willing, if everything goes well. I think that it's time for me to, you know, put my love and energy into a little baby animal, and I think a little corgi would be the best. I think I'm in a place where I want to do all the things that I've been wanting to do for years, and that kind of goes to my second um, life update. I am actually testing into a Spanish translation program at the local community college and I really really hope I get in. I took the test last week. Uh, one day it was like two and a half, three hours long and then the other day, uh, the day before that it was like 30 minutes. Um, it will take a few weeks for them to let me know if I'm in the program but I've always wanted to be a court interpreter. I love the work they do and that's not to say that I don't want to be an attorney. I still want to go to law school. Um, but you know in these next two three years I do need to do something during that time. And so I think that would be a great option. Right now what I'm trying to do is to um, right now what I'm trying to do is work hard. I'm gonna put in work and a year from now I want to have as many options as possible. I will be applying to an MSW as well, a Master's in Social Work, and also into this program if I get in, and then we'll see, you know, if I get into both programs, then maybe I can do both, but I just think that I've put myself in situations before where I didn't have options, and, you know, that things don't, and things don't come out that well when that's the case. So, yeah, wish me luck. I hope I get into that program and wish me luck with moving into the new home. I think it'll be nice to, like, you know, have a fresh start, especially with our family. Like, there's been so many changes going on. Oh, so I also wanted to mention that I really want to do Vlogmas this year. Um, I've actually have... I've actually had my YouTube channel for three years now and so this is the third Christmas that I'll have my channel and I've never um, and I've never been able to do uh, vlogs every day. I think it'd be really cool to at least try to vlog consistently so I'm actually thinking of starting a week before December which I know is cheating but I'm also not trying to you know drive myself crazy but the thing is I don't know what name I would give Vlogmas um, my last name is Gregorio, so I'm thinking maybe like Gmas, but I don't know if that, you know, I don't know if it rolls bien, like I don't know if it sounds good. So I basically need some type of nickname or name for Vlogmas, but I'm excited for that. And um, I have a trip in Ohio coming up, I'm going to go visit a friend, and um, yeah, we'll see. I've never been out to the Midwest, so we'll see how that goes. I know it's going to be freezing, so I'll try to vlog that as well. But it's going to throw off my schedule because I'll be there for almost a week. So that's why I'm trying to vlog uh, before December starts. Also, a little plug right here. One of my friends is making a YouTube channel. I'm so excited for him. I'm pretty sure it's going to be called El de la Sierra. I want you guys to support and show him some love. I'm so excited for him. I feel like I love to make vlogs. They're not the videos that get the most views for me. But um, it's definitely really fun. So I'm excited for him. One other thing that's going on is that I recently got a job at an English learning center. And it's actually been really fun. But that's definitely a part time. Um, I did get an offer letter from this amazing job. 
and it'll be a really really good opportunity but they're taking a while to you know process everything and I understand it's like a big organization but basically I'll be working really closely with social workers and I think it'll open my eyes to see if that's you know a good path for me and I'm excited for it but I already want to start like I just I want to you know hit the ground running and do as much work as I can and, and do as much good as I can but yeah that's basically what's been going on I'm really excited for the move um, I think I need to start packing this week already and um, and starting a new job has been a little intense on my schedule but I'm trying to balance things out as much as I can um, I did want to say um, you know for all of you out there like I've been really busy and I've definitely neglected my health and I went to the doctor recently and so the reason I'm bringing this up is not that I'm trying to overshare but I want to make sure that um, you know you guys are taking care of yourself too and so me I'm hella descuidada like I always leave things to the last minute I go to the doctor when something's wrong not you know like like I should so if you haven't gone to the doctor recently I really encourage you to go call you know any local clinic or your doctor and make an appointment just to do a regular checkup or a physical because you never know if something's going on now I started going to the doctor consistently about two months ago because like I've gone several times more than I've ever gone in my life because I had a severe allergic reaction and ever since then they've like been testing me for so many things and now we know what I'm allergic to and it's really sad because it's one of my favorite foods but it is what it is but recently during my physical uh, you know I was told that I'm not being able to process grease as much as you know a normal person and so that basically means that I'm intaking too much grease for my body to handle and they also told me that um, you know my good my, my good cholesterol is low meaning I'm not being active enough so I definitely want to get on that I you know I'm trying to live a long happy beautiful life and so yeah I need to like start eating healthier and working out you know everything's okay I'm you know now on vitamins and like now watching what I eat a little bit more but I did want to bring that up because I know how I am and I'm guessing some of you are just like that but yeah don't leave your health in the back burner it needs to be a priority Anyways, with that said, I think I've already shared a lot of what's been going on. Also, don't forget, if um, you have any recommendations for Vlogmas, what I should call it, please comment down below or DM me or anything. You guys, you guys know you can always reach out on Instagram or Snapchat. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. If you have some time, then please go ahead and watch some of my other videos. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you. Bye-bye.